Let's see if old Clifford will start up. 5.9 Magnum, baby. Good. All right, the transmission is no good in this truck, but the other day I was able to get it to grab a gear. I don't know what gear it's grabbing, but I got it to grab a gear. So we're gonna see if we can get it to grab a gear again. Oh, that sounds toasty. That old transmission is on its way out, gentlemen. Oh. Oh, we got a gear. I'm about to make these tires smoke, boy. Oh. Pumping up the brakes. Pumping up the brakes. Clifford still got it. Clifford still has it with a bad transmission. Oh man, I'm hungry. What'd you find? Oats oh and honey, gosh. baby. It's, it's got a granola open. bar, not even open. Yeah, I'm about to eat that. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Our fam we are back here today and we are working on Clifford hell dog Clifford <laughs> and uh, today what are you doing cleaning it out cleaning it out getting, and it's getting rid of that abomination <laughs> it is an absolute wreck yeah. so for you got for the guys that, for everybody that missed the uh, kind of like the introduction of the truck this is the new project RT Dakota 2001 we picked up for a thousand bucks truck is running it's got a running 5.9 magnum 360 in it uh the transmission's bad and it's got a pretty good dent on the one side of the truck but all in all we're gonna be fixing this truck up so today he is cleaning out the interior we're trying to get the interior basically cleaned up and done and looking nice i can't believe they left it like that cannot <laughs> believe it it's it's super super bad it got worse when i took the first seat out <laughs> So basically, we're pulling the seats today. Um, he already has one seat out, and the seats actually, they're still in good condition, guys. They just gotta be cleaned up a little bit. Um, but this is how we got the truck. $1,000, this is what the truck looked like and what it came with, literally, as you can see. They apparently wanted to give us a whole um, dinner. They even left us like five bucks worth of quarters in there, I think. Even got a free COVID mask. Yeah, free bottle of water. There's, there's like three. Oh yeah. Back there too. <laughs> so, pulling the the seat out, he's about to go get that seat out. And uh, you said you found a looks like someone's lunch note. Someone's lunch note <laughs> says, "Good morning. Hope you slept well. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Hugs and kisses." <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what does that say? Wifey? Yeah. Wifey like at that. the bottom. Wifey, something like that. But yeah. We're finding all kind of good crazy stuff, guys. So, yeah, he's uh, about to pull out that other seat real quick. Let's see what we can find under seat number two. I found a pencil on this side. I threw it to the trash, though. Oh, what we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, some more garbage. All kinds of stuff. This is going to be a great transformation. Hey, did you raise up these back seats yet? No. Let's see what we got under there. Right 
Oh yeah, we got we got a little bit of everything else up in there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely got some cleaning to do. Alright, so you got all the seats out already. Obviously, you're about to vacuum everything out as much as possible. And then we're going to be unbolting that center console as well so that we can pull out the carpet. And we're going to pressure wash that carpet. We're actually going to take that carpet up to local car wash. And the mats. I'm going to take those. That, mats yeah, and the mats. Um, that has actually hot water. They got a setting on there for hot water. So we're going to soak this down with some uh, super clean degreaser. And wash all of that mess out with the hot water pressure washer at our local car wash. Oh man, I'm hungry. What'd you find? Oats oh, and honey, baby. It's, it's got a granola open. bar, not even open. Yeah, I'm about to eat that. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh heck yeah, that's where we're at. So uh, we'll show you guys once we get this uh, carpet out. We'll go from there. Buy one, get one free. Oh yeah, what'd you find? Uh, what size was the bolts to get these seats out? Um, on the back ones, they're 18, and then on the front, it's half inch. So half inch and 18, so on the front... And there's two bolts on the front, two bolts in the back. Alright, continue on, sir. Mr. Vacuum Guy, you better get her done. I'm gonna eat lunch real quick. You gonna eat some lunch? Yeah. All right, here's the nasty center console out of the RT. Look at all that nastiness. Sprayed the super clean on it. Now we're about to get the pressure washer going. We're going to wash that thing down. It's going to look like brand new. All right, guys, we are back. Unfortunately, my camera battery died in the middle of us uh, tearing apart the old Dakota. But we have everything cleaned up. That's the seats, back paneling, the storage box that goes underneath the back seat. And we have the carpet cleaned up, and it is sitting back inside Clifford. And it looks nine times better than it did, that's for sure. If you guys remember seeing this mess that we had before we started, like this is huge transformation like this looks so much better and uh i'm happy i mean we got a couple stains that didn't come out but this is definitely doable what do you think about that guy that was like a complete abomination right yeah but now it's show car quality show car quality no, I, mean, just, no, just <laughs> I don't know about that chief but uh eventually i think it's drivable you know what i mean yeah um so this pretty much took, what, a whole day? Like, you had a whole day in just tearing this thing into pieces. 8 o'clock to 6.30-ish. Pressure so. washing carpet, pressure washing all the trim pieces, all the plastic stuff that goes against here. Yeah. Um, we got the panels off, as you can see. Um, and we have the speakers out of the rear that we're about to replace. Um, because they are completely check out this they're completely separated grab that with your hand and show them what it's up like they they're completely busted out like they're not even connected anymore yeah. so we got some brand new scar audio speakers that we're going to put in the rear and in the doors um i don't know if we're gonna get the front doors in today but we're definitely going to get the rear ones installed that way we can get all the interior put back in the truck. And we're going to try to, or by we, I mean you, going to try to rip that transmission out today, right? Yeah. Yeah? Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm just kidding. It's getting out. It's getting out? All right. It better. Get it out with one singular ratchet. One singular ratchet. All right. Well, if you can do that, you might be the best mechanic ever. I don't know. We'll see. But let's go get our new SCAR audio speakers, get them installed real quick, and then get this interior fully back together, see what it looks like, and uh, Look, go on what, to the next you step. You know what we call this, guys? 
This is Clifford's glow up. He went from disgusting to party. Party? Yeah. I can dig it because it was definitely disgusting. All right, guys, these are the SCART Audio speakers that we got. Uh, again, we got a pair for the rear and a pair for the doors. These are the SCAR Audio RPX 65s, and these are some very awesome jam-up speakers for basically just trying to replace your factory speakers. This is a big upgrade compared to factory stock speakers, and these are not that expensive. Um, these speakers are very, very affordable. And again, they are awesome. I love SCAR speakers. I do have a, a pair of SCAR 10 subwoofers that was in Frostbite. And SCAR, hands down, is legit. So let's get some of these out so you guys can check them out real quick. Them out of the bag. So they come with screens also, which you can use or not use. Try to get it off here. Uh, there we go. Now we can see that awesome looking speaker. So they give you a pretty nice screen, uh, has a Scar Audio logo on them, and then the speaker itself also says Scar Audio on them. And these are very awesome speakers nice magnets on the back so definitely can't wait to get these things installed and see what they sound like granted we still have the factory radio in there for right now but we're at least going to have some nice speakers in there until we upgrade the head unit eventually so that's what we're going to install we're going to get these guys in and then uh, move on all right guys we have and by we i mean my son has put the dakota back together we got all the interior back in Got the seats. Floor looks much cleaner than it was, that's for sure. Don't even look like the same truck anymore. So much better. Back seat, carpet. Very nice. We have to get a new... Uh, armrest cover for that center console as it was pretty pretty wore out so we're just going to get a new lid for it and then uh we'll be looking good that center console made a good transformation because that thing was disgusting and we have our new scar audio speakers installed in the back panels here for the back You can kind of see them back there. So now we just got to upgrade this uh, junky old factory radio. And we'll be in business. Let's see if old Clifford will start up. 5.9. Transmission is no good in this truck, but the other day I was able to get it to grab a gear. I don't know what gear it's grabbing, but I got it to grab a gear. So we're going to see if we can get it to grab a gear again. Oh, that sounds toasty. That old transmission is on its way out, gentlemen. Oh. Oh, we got a gear. I'm about to make these tires smoke, boy. Woo. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I think she's about done for.
I get it back in reverse? Oh, come on, reverse. Where you at? There we go. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. Pumping up the brakes. Pumping up the brakes. Clifford still got it. Clifford still has it with a bad transmission. And that's Mopar for you. Woo! That's some, uh, them old tires stink. Let's, let's, let's check this real quick. Oh! Oh, that's hot! Dang! Look at that. Oh, for a bad transmission, that ain't too bad. All right, you just seen your truck do its first burnout. What do you think? <laughs> With a bad transmission. I don't think I need one. You don't think you need a transmission? <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, I have a statement. Let's see a Ford or Chevy do that. With a bad transmission. That could be asking a lot. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. As you've seen, uh, my son here, Clayton, he got the truck back together. Got Clifford, the interior done, cleaned up. New speakers in the back. So the interior is pretty right. Now it's on to the more important things. We got to get this truck working. Um, the transmission's no good, but sometimes it'll grab, but it's pretty much toast. I think the converter's bad. Uh, from talking to John Cope, it sounds like the, com uh, the converter's probably on its way out. Um, so we're going to pull the transmission, uh, go through this transmission, and just get it right. But the old 5.9 Magnum. She's purring. She's purring. She is purring. I mean, she's purring. So, other than that, guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button down below. Also, put a comment in there what you think. And, uh, as always, we'll see you on the next one.